All right, Talia, so I home here watching news, taking in all the news, playing with my son, enjoying time with my family. And, I'm a, and if you wouldn't believe how much people texting me down to do question and loves, 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 news. But I, but, but I never have exam tomorrow. So I was like, I watching news, so that then. And then somebody used the magic words. They say do it for the people, so I did do it for the, I did do it for the people, so. It's going to be a quick thing, I'm just going to review three, three years and see what you can make out of it. The video will be no top quality explanation and them kind of thing because I just doing it off the run up the top of my head and I just scribble down some notes and based on the last pass papers that I see and So as I say, you'll be hearing the news in the background, but this is just a quick look at the logs. I just write up, scribble up some stuff here. This was 2015. What they had was, um, right? <coughs> Let's zoom in on that director. We had log of x plus 2, log of x plus 1, 6x minus 8, and we need to find the value of x i believe so what we need to do is take these two and group them into one using this rule log of a plus log of b is log of a b so you see i group them into one and then i can remove logs and you'll be hearing the sun screaming in the background and thing because this is his hour to start to scream all right so we're removing logs um so what we remove the logs when you group them up now logs from this side log from that side gone um i should have a little brackets around there but small thing anyhow so remove the logs and from here you could take it from here because you're just going to expand them brackets bring across thing get a quadratic factorize that and you get your answer and this was 2015 question and logs that is it all right so let me look at the next one so this is what this is what this is 2016 yeah 2016 was straightforward too you know, because in 2016 they gave you this and tell you fine um make c the subject of the formula so you take some logs everything you had to start off you had to say take logs and when you say take logs write it too so i should write taking logs why is this thing not working good boy taking logs just imagine you see taking logs then taking logs yeah so you have the equation to take some logs and you take some logs there and you take logs on either side so you see i drop down two logs on them there and using the rules of logs i can now split this because this is a multiplication here this is key multiply by p to the power of h over c and uh, split it up then i could use a little rule here now i'll use a little rule to bring along this and next log rule like if you have log of a to the b you could bring along the b so that's b log a so you check out your log rules make sure you know that and what i did here was rearrange so i took this log key and sent him to that side so now it's log t take away log key and i just k and i just flip them around then I brought down this log P to here because we don't want there. We were, remember we were C as the subject of the formula. C is underneath, so I did a little flippy, flippy dippy here. And it comes on this side, flip two. You understand? And now I can just say C is equal to H that and I got to go. Full max. And that was what? That was that was 2016. So this is the next way they could bring it where you had to take logs and rearrange and do some dancing with the logs. So you need to understand your little rules of logs and things to get on bad in that. Now you look at the next one. Alright, so this was a more in-depth question. I think this was 2017. If you look back at your little 2017, this one was intense. So they gave you this and they gave some value. So now they do laugh at my table there, but you know, I just doing this, watching the news and thing and drawing up this. So you have your little table here and they see that's bit, um, they get them values and they based it. That, that is this equation, this equation doing these things. When I have x, p is that. So you have two constants. They have k and you have a. So they want you to reduce it to the linear form. No problem. Remember logs is an exponential kind of scene. Well, logs is, by taking logs, you drop down something that is an exponent into a linear, linear scene. Maybe I'll explain a little bit about logs when the video ends. So watch out this video to the end. All right, so, because I think one of the main problems is people don't understand what logs is really about. And that's why everything is just so abstract in logs for them. So anyhow, so let me stop talking and go on. Camera, I'll shake All right, so take logs of both sides. You know, you see how we do it again? We drop some logs on the equation. So we take some logs of both sides there, boom. Now that we take logs of both sides, we 
we're gonna do it multiply and see in taking place there so we split them up using the log rule so this is now the log of a by the log of x in the negative key and now we're gonna bring him down so you see that technique repeat, repeat itself again i will in i would say there's a maybe 70 percent chance you're gonna do the same exact kind of technique in your exam tomorrow so make sure you have a technique you take logs on both sides you split them and you bring down the index all right so this is one of the constants here and this whole log of a is another constant there so i want to rearrange it so that it looks like this in the form y equal mx plus c so the k now represents m and the log of a represents c and by doing that i can do marvelous things marvelous things by the way they want us to plot plot a graph of the um, linear stuff so to plot a graph of the linear stuff i would need to have values of log of p and log of x so i'm going to take this table now and find log of this put it there log of this put it there in your calculator just press log of this put it there log of that put it there log of that notice how the log of 10 is 1 the log of 100 is 2 the log of 1000 is 3 you see how logs is take big numbers and just compress it into little numbers that is the power of logs log is just take big thing and make it small all right so log of 121 will just be a little over um, 2 because remember the log of 100 is 2 and the log of 1000 is 3 so you expect values between and this will drop on under one this will drop under two here because this is under 100 you understand that anyhow so you put this in your calculator don't play no star boy thing and nobody uh, nobody in green and pull out logs out of their mind just so. so you put this in your calculator why am i talking so much so after you do that you plot a little graph your graph will come out like this now i ain't have time to drop no perfect scale and thing remember it's a quick thing it's a quick thing your exam is tomorrow so you drop your graph i just want you to understand the concept you, you drop your scale nice based on this beautiful table that I draw here. Watch the quality of them lines now. Hmm. Anyhow, so based on these, you plot out some points. Notice your log of P is in what position is in the Y position. So log of P is on this axis. I didn't write it, but log of P is on this axis. And log of X is on that axis. And you drop your line base, your line of best fit now. Based on these points. All of these are points are just plotting there quick. Them points could be in a mess too. Eh? I just, you know, make some random guesses there. So the graph of log p against log of x, we done? No, we ain't done. Most likely they want us to find out the value of um, a and k. So this is how you do it. Remember this is y equal mx plus c. What is c? c is called the y-intercept. So you just follow this graph. Where it hit that line, boom, it hits the line at about um, 2.106. So let's see now the intercept was 2.106. Intercept represents log of a. So log of a is that. This man talking, talking in my video, that little youth. Anyhow, so A, A would be the log inverse or the um, anti-log or just put 10 to the power of it or just look where you have log on your calculator. Press second function and you'll see this and put whatever you have there. So it's 10 to that and you'll get your answer. Use it about two decimal places now. Nah? Three significant figures, whatever. Let that float your boat or unless they give you something to use. How about why did I find the gradient here? Because I want to find K. Well, negative k is in the place of the gradient, so the gradient is negative k, so I find the gradient using points on the graph. Now, when you're finding the gradient of a graph, you can't use like a point like this, that is off the graph. So you have to find nice points that are on the graph. I would, I would advise using the points like here and here, because they food, food is apart and one of the values would be zero. So it's easier on your, easier on your way. So you find up your gradient using whatever. This, I think this gradient I got is negative 0 0.14. But remember, k is equal to negative, negative the gradient. So k is really 0 0.14. So my son carrying around, either my son or my nephew carrying around a bucket. I want that toys and shaking it. So that's why you're hitting in the background. But that is okay because we're done. That is three years of logs reviewed there. So I hope you get an idea of how logs would look like in your exam blessings. Now it's up to you to go and check your textbook. Check your... Um, Past papers and try and find someone who get on your own. I think I have extra one here for you. Yeah, try this one. This is a big man write up my thing, and I must leave your notes around your chair and All right, so um, five. Yeah, so five to three x minus two. This and they want you to prove this. So let me I give you some hints. See why I real nice tell you hints. Take some logs, then apply log rules for indices. Um. When you take the logs, you have to bring down the x plus 2 and the 3x minus 2 using that log rule for indices now. And you factorize out your x, bring all the x on one side, factorize it out and rearrange and you have to get this. If you don't get this, something wrong. If you don't get this, you get no marks, so try and get this. Alright, guys, logs day.